evening. <laughs> oh well, we should be happy because after all, being happy and laughing is the best medicine. After all, there's virus going all around. Yeah, happening around our surrounding the world. We should be happy and don't let it affect our daily lives. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> okay, so let's go and have the continuation of our lesson from last night. Mm -hmm. So you finish reading this uh, article, and we are already oh we're already on the grammar bank. I remember. Remember that we have done the article on the. In page 44, right? Yes. And then... Um, what do we do today? The vocabulary? Vocabulary? Yeah. Now we're already on the grammar bunk. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. You talk about, you explained rather, you explained about the tenses and form of the be able to. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that is, yeah, you did that yesterday. Now, tonight we are <laughs> on the, on the grammar back, as I was saying. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so here it is. Let me share it with you. It's about the... Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, here it is. Oh, let me just... Okay, here it is. Can you see it? Not yet. It's still a dark screen. Ah, oh, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, that's good. Anyway, so it's about the can, could, be able to words. about, And it's about ability or possibility. Okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. So let's first have the words can and could. And before we explain about things about those, can you read the sample sentences on the white box? Explain the meaning of the form be able to, right? But why is still there be able to? Mm, well, it's a uh, more things that we uh, more explanation, other definition and meaning of it. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so then read the white box, right? Yes, of course. I can speak Spanish very well. She could play the violin, violin, right? Violin. When she was, yeah, violin. When she was three, she can't come tonight. She is ill. They couldn't wait because they were in a hurry. Can you open the door, please? Okay, that's nice. So, can is a modal verb, and it only has a present past and conditional form but can also be used with a future meaning okay also for other tenses and forms we use the be able to those are just some definition of can and of the word can okay now here more definition and some sample sentences of be able to can you read it? Okay, I am able to accept your invitation. They were, were not able to come. I will be able to practice. 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 It's an act later. Mm -hmm. As not see. That's why I I, I <laughs> pronounce this 
Africa, she has been able to speak French since she was a child. I like to be able to 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 what? Ski. Yes. I love being able to play play uh, at wiki. Okay, so for those definition of this, uh, you can you can use be able to in the present, past, future, present perfect, and as the gerund or infinitive. And also be able to in the present and past is more more formal than can or could. Using be able to is more formal, okay? Well, those are just more definition of it. And since we have those definition and uses and how this is used, let's go and have some practice exercises for it, okay? Just have this. Okay, here it is. Let's have the letter, letter, yeah, letter A here, wherein you're gonna complete it with the correct form of be able to. Let's have this example, which is a negative. I've never been able to learn to swim. Okay. Is have um, grammar here, right? Yes. I need to find the correct grammar for it. Yes. With the uh, with the help and clue of this little boxes on the front that has the symbol of negative, positive, and a question. Oh, it's really hard. No, I don't it's think it's hard for you. You can do it. <laughs> is that present simple or what? No, don't. Okay, let's mm -hmm. this one. Yeah, you could do it. Um, I sent Emmy. Be able to. I didn't. Yes. It's hard. I didn't be able to send any emails since lunch time. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think it's. It is wrong. Well, it is wrong, but you are already uh, near it. Be using uh, an a what? <laughs> using a past tense. Yes, it is in past tense, but not didn't. Not didn't. Yes, but this sentence is in past tense. Wasn't. Yes. Was not. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Can you complete the sentence? Is that correct? I would not be able to send any emails since lunchtime. Yes, that's right. But rather than saying be able, you could just simply say I wasn't able to send any emails since lunchtime. Oh. Mm hmm. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. No need to add the B. Okay, just say able. I wasn't able. That's already good. Okay, let's go and have number two. She used to speak German, German really well. Mm -hmm. oh. Here, just be able to. Mm -hmm. She used to be able to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that's good. That's right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. three. Yes. I do my homework until tomorrow. Wow. 
Huh? What does it mean? Do my homework until tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Remember, take note, you're gonna just be able to. But not really exactly be able to. Something that is in the sense of that. Uh, I will not able to do my homework until tomorrow. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I really like dance well. Like what? Uh, I really like to be able to dance well. Mm hmm. That's right. Okay. You came to our wedding. It's on me. Uh, will you? Will you be able to come to our wedding? Yes, <laughs> that's good. Okay, that's very good. Okay. Okay. Always can use the word can. Can you? Okay. No. <laughs> be confident. Your answer is correct. <laughs> Answer for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is when I play another one thousand. You know? Oh, letters and uh, letter number six. What? You haven't answered number six. If I spoke better English, I will be able to get a job in a hotel. That's right. Okay, when I save another 1,000 euro, I will be able to buy a new car as well again. Mm hmm. Are you listening to me? Yes, I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. See her do what she wants. See her do what she wants. What? <laughs> Remember, it's a negative. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, she hit. A negative. Not be able. Yeah, not be able to do what she wants. Um. Cannot. You already go back on the first one. Just that. Take out the two. Two. Mhm. Mm but I just thought that if like when we say that we like or we hate, we need to put the word two on it. Like I like to mm -hmm. do something with a form. Mm -hmm. That's why I think that I hate to do something is a form of is a form. Mm -hmm. But okay, let me listen the complete sentence you were trying to say. Yeah, she hates to not she hates to not be able to. Do what she wants. Yes. Well, I told you to take out the two because it's gonna be redundant. As you, as you've just said, the sentence you said is, she hates to not to do what she wants. See, the sentence become redundant of the word too. So you could just simply say, she hates not being, not being able or what? <laughs> she hates not. Being able to do what she wants. Not be able. Yeah. Not really able. She hates not be a not being able. Being. Mhm. Mm yes. 
<laughs> that is right. Being. Yeah, after the word being is will be announced. Well, we c because as uh, on the meaning on here, we could use be able to as a gerund too. Okay. On this Where? definition of be able to, we could use it as a gerund. Okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is that. Just to make it sound more uh, direct so that it will not be too confusing and that not being redundant. We could just simply say she hates not being able to do what she wants rather than she hates to be able to do what she wants. <laughs> okay. Correct, but not really correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Like no one uses that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's right. No one uses it. Okay. Let's have the letter B. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we use can, cannot, or could, could not, where possible? If not, use the form of be able to. Yes, and the simple sentence. They told me that they couldn't do anything about the noise. Okay, let's go and have the first one. What? Uh, is it that if we cannot use the any word of this? Yes, if we, if you can't use the can't can't could or couldn't, you could use the be able to. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I can talk to you now. I'm too busy. Yes, that's right. When I live in Rome, I cannot speak Italian quite well. Ah. I've been lived. I go to yeah. Mhm. Mm Yes. I'm able to speak Italian quite well. I'm so sorry. Can you say your sentence again? I think it's on the blank place. It will be being able to. Uh huh. Being able to. Can you complete the sentence? When I live in Rome, I've been able to speak Italian quite well. <coughs> mm hmm Yeah. Oh. Is cannot be the negative, right? It could a, a negative could actually be correct too. A positive could be correct too, but just that the sentence you just said it doesn't make sense. It's kind of incomplete. Yes, it's kind of incomplete. Mm -hmm. So I just use the, another way, the easy way that I can speak Italian quite well. I can speak. Yes. Italian, yeah. Mm -hmm, that's right. That's the positive. How about if you put it as a negative? No, I'm not put it, trying to put it on a negative. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, but I'm asking you, how about you put it as a negative? No, we cannot. We can, actually. When I live in Rome, and the end of the sentence is quite well. Well, we actually listen to this sentence. When I live in Rome, I couldn't speak Italian quite well. Meaning that person can speak Italian, but not very well. That would be the meaning of that. 
and we say I couldn't speak Italian quite well. So we could still put it as a negative or a positive. Okay? Really? Yes. Is not, really? not entirely. Yeah. It's not like saying it's a must. Like you are so sure that you can't speak Italian. It's just saying not very well. Because there's the word quite, which means not very, not a lo not all of it, but a little bit. You can speak it a little bit. Yeah, but if you use that you as a positive. Yeah, it's true. But if you put the word quite well, it still makes it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it does make sense. It's just the past tense because the sentence is in past tense. That's why we use the couldn't. Mm -hmm. Couldn't. Quite well. Then that means you can't. But since you use the word quite, mm -hmm. but since you use the word quite you could say that not entirely but he or this person can speak Italian that would be the sentence means if we use the couldn't sure yes of course <laughs> okay <laughs> okay let's have number three okay I would love play tennis, play tennis very well. Uh, I would love. I want to put another word. Like, I could, would love that I can play tennis very well. What? Can you say it again? I want to say that I want to put another word. Sure. Besides the word can. Okay. I would love if I can play tennis very well. Oh, yes, of course. You could do that. Uh, yeah. But if I don't do that, how can we complete this sentence? I would love, like, I would love to be able to play no, to be able to play tennis very well. Why we don't use the word being? Being? Because I remember there is uh, number A of letter A. Mm -hmm. Hello? And this sentence, yeah. I'm saying about the, the, the number eight mm -hmm. of the letter. Yes. Yeah, we have the sentence. She hates being able to do what right? she wants. Yes. Yeah, being able. Mm -hmm. And this sentence on the letter B number number three, right? Mm hmm. The same. I think that the same. Like being able to do something, so that why we uh, so I want to ask you that uh, why we can't use the word being but use the word be. Oh, yeah, yes, uh huh. So it will be, can be the, word, the sentence that I would love to be able to play tennis. Well, well, yeah, that would be using being, but like I s told you, uh. Just now, take out the two from the front. You could just simply say, I would love being able to play tennis very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anyway, we will continue more for the rest on our next class. Okay. 
for tonight. That will be all. Bye, Lisa. Bye. Thank you.